Hello everyone, welcome to this online demonstration for water gems for irrigation projects. Myself Tanay Kulkarni, I am an application engineer for water and wastewater solutions. Uh, if we look at irrigation, uh, irrigation water supply schemes, uh, we uh, generally uh, pump water using rising mains from the source to the pond and from where water can be used for for the irrigation. Now this is a typical irrigation scheme where we have a source, a pump and we have a couple of rising mains in order to fill delivery pond 1, 2, 3 etc. Now let me open water gems and show this scenario. Now here in this scenario we have a source, a, a centrifugal pump which is having a design discharge of 77 liters per second in order to meet, uh, meet an irrigation demand of uh, 77 liters per second at this delivery point one. And uh, we also have a flow control valve which will govern the flow uh, in case of uh, while operating the system. So for this design discharge of 77 liters per second, the design head for this pump is 55 meters and uh, we have a, few, a couple of junctions uh, located at the ground level uh, ground levels uh, corresponding ground levels and uh, let me now compute this network now after computing it will show that how much flow was supplied and how much flow was stored so the flow supplied is flow stored. Uh, it, it basically assumes that there is no leakage in the network and hence uh, the flow supplied is equal to flow stored. Now for this network you can also if once you compute this network you will be also able to take a look at the various results in tabular format like this using flex tables. So it will show, tell you what is the head loss, what is the head loss gradient, velocity, flow and other uh, parameters, other properties. It will also show you what is the residual pressure at various junctions. For example, at junction 1, the pressure head was 53 meters and the hydraulic grade was 153 meters. So it will also uh, describe the network in tabular format. Not just that, but also you can, like you can see, you can color code the network and you can annotate the network like in this case I have annotated it in on the basis of flow and the diameter and the junctions on the basis of the label and the ground level. So you can also insert the legion for better understanding of the network. Now the beauty in using water gems is you can model something which is called as scenarios. Now using scenarios a modeler can model anything uh, regarding that model when it comes to what will happen if you do something. For example uh, now this is a small scheme. Now what will happen if I close this flow control valve and if I divert all the pumped water in order to fill some another delivery pond too for example. So the modeler can create a scenario called as delivery pond 2 and make it current and do something like this. So like you can see in this line in this rising main the flow is zero because this flow control valve was closed by the operator and all the flow was then diverted to this rising main which is filling this delivery pond 2 which is having an irrigation demand of 38 liters per second. Similarly, um, what will happen if we close this flow control wall 2 and if we divert uh, all the water from these two pipes to a third rising main in order to fill another delivery pond with an irrigation demand of 30 liters per second. Right? So uh, these uh, bigger networks can be modeled. Not just this, a modeler can also check that instead of operating 
uh, instead of first filling delivery point one, then two, and then three, what will happen if uh, we do simultaneous filling of all the delivery points? So he or she can also model what will happen if we fill all the three delivery points simultaneously and get the results out of the software. You, uh, there are many more stuff that you can do like you can create contours you can create profiles like in this case i have created a profile which uh, in which this blue uh, this blue line is the hydraulic grade and the yellow line is the ground elevation ground profile and uh, like you can see in the screen in this graph uh, in this prof sorry in this profile the energy is added by the centrifugal pump the hydraulic grade increases and then the flow control valve over here is uh, reducing that energy to zero in order to get zero flow or divert all the flow to another link. So thank you for watching this video. For more case studies, kindly go to uh, www.bentley.com slash WTR. Thank you once again for watching this video. Have a good day.